when you log in to your wi-fi router and want to configure security of the wireless you might see this kind of interface i am on a linksys cisco router but when you log in you might see more or less same interface you have to go to your settings your wireless and then wireless security setting right so in here we see that the it shows us different security modes it is telling us that which mode do we want whether we want wep wpa wpa2 radius central authentication or no authentication at all disabled so what are these security modes let's discuss wi-fi wlan or wireless lan has different security standards so initially we came up with wep which was wired equivalent privacy it came in 1997 and its encryption method was rc4 it supported only device authentication and user authentication was not available there its key length was 40 bit but soon after some time we found that this was hackable due to shorter key and less security in the key length and key so 40 bit was easy to crack even as of today if you find a wi-fi you can easily crack the password of that wi-fi and it can be hacked so after that we came up with another security standard which was called as wpa it came in 2003 it is wi-fi protected access it used stronger authentication encryption method and it supported both user and device authentication its key length was improved from 40 bit to 128 bit now but soon we found security flaws in that one as well and it was not secure from hackers that's why we had to come with a new standard called wpa2 it came in 2005 and it supported AES type of encryption which was advanced encryption standard. So it's a new and more advanced. So even as of today, we are using AES. If you go to uh, Homeland Security Department website in America and go to the Wi-Fi and security and online security standards, you will find that the recommended encryption method is AES even by us government so it is the most advanced method at the moment it supports wpa2 supports user and device authentication as well and it gives us two profiles personal and enterprise its key length was also 128 then recently in 2018 we came to find wpa3 encryption and security method as well on most of the advanced routers but as of today you might not see many routers with wpa3 because it is still in uh, we can say in upgradation or uh, still in integration phase so usually we find maximum wpa2 it also wpa3 is also based on aes encryption and it gives a better key length of 192 so these are some of the security standards now let me log into my Wi-Fi and then we can see from the Wi-Fi scanner that which encryption method do we find practically. So I'm here on this software. This is called as Wi-Fi scanner. I'm using version 21.05. If you guys want, you can also download, install. It's a free utility for Wi-Fi analysis, right? It is equally valid for 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz bands so here we can see different methods sorry different wi-fi's and most of the wi-fi they are giving us wpa2 or wpa wpa2 mixed mode mixed mode means uh, it automatically select if it's an old type of device doesn't support wpa2 so it will switch to wpa normal right so these are security methods and the encryptions which it, they are supporting they are CCMP, TKIP all those what I have explained previously and other parameters are there. We can also add and remove columns from here if you want to add this WPS this is a physical button this is also another security method we can say sometime when you are a non-technical person you can just push a button on your Wi-Fi router. For example, when you want to connect printer these days, they have a WPS button. Just press the button on printer and on the Wi-Fi router and they will connect without any password. So we can see which devices are supporting these, which are not supporting. So 
this is how it looks of in reality practically you guys can also verify so these are some while wireless land security standards